What's up, guys? Blender.com here, hanging out backstage at the Nokia Theater in New York with Metro Station, whose self-titled debut has been burning up the charts. You guys have a lot of electronics, the electronic sounds in your music. Why do you think bands like yourselves are doing that? Just because you, did you grow up listening to that type of music? We all, the thing that we have in common is that we love like pop music. Yeah. And uh, the thing that all of us, I think, that made us start listening to music like this, like electronic pop was the Postal Service. Yeah, it was. It? Yeah. And then I uh, started going back to bands like New Order and Depeche Mode and, and OMD and stuff like that. I play synthesizer, so to me, I love it. Okay. Like, I can't get enough of it. He likes to hear himself a lot. Yeah, I'm dreading that moment when Synthesizer is uncool again and I'm gonna be like in my basement <laughs> alone. How about some 80s love bands that you really, you, you just said New, New Order. Yeah, I love like 80s like hair bands like Poison. Like I was a kid who went to like four different Poison concerts like met like Brett Michaels on his bus after the show when I was like 12 and like Rock of Love, I, man I give, I give him respect for that pimp, you know, keep, keep, keep pimping, do what you do. Will we have a Metro Station uh, reality show anytime soon? You know, Possibly. There's, there's, talks, actually, really? there's, there's actually talks of it. It would, it would definitely be a little bit scripted and we would have fun with that. But it would be a reality-based show that's like about our life on the road, you know? Yeah. Well, I want it to be a contest who gets to sleep with Mason. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that will definitely be in there, too. <laughs> Not that that'd be a prize to, you know, win. That's a must for the show, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's later on. That's, 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 that's all like, you have to do to be on the show. That's, that's kind of the concept three. for it, you know? Right. We're going to lead it up. It's going to be like a the builder. Drama, yeah. right. And then hit climax, him with that, right? you know? You know? Can you guys tell us about meeting on the set of Hannah Montana? Like, you're, you're on the set of Hannah Montana, you're at Nickelodeon, but you're talking about rock and roll. It's kind of ironic. How, how did that all come about? I, I strictly went down to the set just to meet Mason, so it was like I'd already, I'd already heard some of his songs, I had a CD of his, and it was definitely awkward just to like, you know, hang out with someone just because like, oh, you know, our parents said we should meet. What's, <laughs> like, what's up? And it wasn't until like I went to his house like that next weekend where we were like, alone and got to hang out as like, you know, friends alone and like no parent supervision around us. And it was like, you know, we were free and we wrote a song together so so naturally and afterwards, you know, once we met Blake, it turned into us collaborating, making the song 17 Forever, which we shot our last music video for. And that was the first song that the three of us made together and like called it Metro Station, you know? Yeah. Before that, it was just like Trey Cyrus and Mason Musso making music, you know, we were friends. And then all of a sudden it was like, well, now we have a three piece, like, are we a band? You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like, wow, I guess we, we have a, we have a band. Like, it was never like, it was never like, let's be in a band, guys. It wasn't like that. It just, it just, it happened so naturally, and that's what okay. I love. That's what I love about the band, man. And then you guys, you guys are young guys. You must be pretty tech savvy. Do you guys update your MySpace and website, or do you guys have, you know, a tech team behind that? We, uh, we there's definitely people from our label and stuff that help us, you know, keep up with our MySpace and stuff because it gets to a point when you just need that help. But yeah, we're we're, we're still very self-involved with our MySpace and all of that because you know. That's what got us started, and we, you know, we owe a lot to it. Yeah. So you're not Facebook guys, you're MySpace I've guys. I've never, never even been on Facebook actually. Facebook breaks relationships. I hate Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> Facebook. Is, wow, is there a personal story? It sounds like no, some. Personal. It sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> you went on Facebook and his girlfriend had a new boyfriend. <laughs> But, but she on, didn't but on, MySpace. on MySpace. She didn't. <laughs> but on, on MySpace, she was his girlfriend. So check it out. You have your ex-girlfriend, and then you know who she's adding. That's kind of fucked up. I saw you flirt with your yeah, last night. Well, you, can, you can lurk on MySpace and Facebook. You got to be friends with them. But the problem with Facebook is every time a girl befriends you, your girlfriend's going to be like, "Did you ever sleep with this person?" And you just say, "Baby." No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> deny, deny, deny. <laughs>